to say something. Yeah, well, what I was going to say is just a subtle commercial that we do have Dr. Carl's book, Outsmarting well, Yourself. If you don't have that, that's, that is a great investment. And um, it, for me, it was a call to maturity. Uh, because I see him every week. We've been working on um, connecting with Jesus for, in, in Emmanuel for over 11 years. And I'm committed to that. She was time. one of the earliest guinea pigs where we were, before yeah. we even knew what to call it. And it was, so yeah. the, the pre, the building blocks, we were, we were experimenting on Patty with yeah. before it was ever even called Emmanuel. Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say so when I, you know, when we got this book um, a year ago, I read it and I realized that, you know, what, what the Lord was saying to me through it was, in a gen very gentle way, grow up. Make some decisions. And for those of you who've read it, make some decisions. Um, and I just, I just can't say enough about, about mm. that book as far as being helpful. And I know at one point you and I had a discussion that you guys give that book to couples that are getting married. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's just, it's just an extremely helpful, helpful mm. book. Mm. So thank, thank you, you for that. Yeah. Yeah, and actually, the. the the video version was actually filmed right here in this studio. And what's, what we've found this to be most valuable for is people who want to do a small group. We've had people email us from like Nebraska farmland and they'll watch like a little 20 minute block. You know, they, they quickly figured out if you just leave a whole disc on by the end of the two hours, <laughs> people, people all just kind of, but you, you do about a 20 or 30 minute block and you kind of watch how people are engaging and you pause it and you say, okay, can anybody, can, let's think about examples from our lives about the piece we just, we just saw. You do a piece at a time. Had a fantastic group, small group process over a number of months yeah. where they could do the little block on triggering or on relational circuits or on how your verbal logical explainer will cover things. And if, when you go around the room and people start thinking of concrete examples from our, their own lives and it kind of gets started, they would have to like, you know, okay, okay, it's time to go home, folks. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's not, uh, very powerful when you can help folks in the room start thinking of examples in their own lives of the principles. So that's what people tell us that they, that's what they use this for. Obviously, we didn't uh, take the time to do a whole lot of preparation. We didn't come up with the workbook, write the study guide, or whatever. We just sort of recorded it here and stuffed it onto as few discs as it would fit on. Um, but God seems to be using it. There's somebody here or there in different places that, that has the fortitude to watch the whole thing, and really, they get mm -hmm. through it. And then they seem to like be able to translate it into their setting, you know, and play like you said, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, show this section or that section, and then have a discussion and do really fruitful things with it. So um, in some cases, then people feel like this is a really heavily distilled you know, thing here, but then take it and, and run with it. So I guess I just want to say, be blessed, do that. Yeah, yeah. You know? um, yeah. and, and some people laugh at Carl's use of terminology. He's got his, you know, his unique Carl talking about pernicious blockages to <laughs> things. Or confabulation. The, confabulation. Farmers in, confabulation. the farmers in Nebraska couldn't believe I actually used confabulation. Even like, though it's the they right knew what word. the word meant, it just, it but it was just like, I can't believe you're using that word. Um, so that's fine. We give you permission to laugh at the words, you know, whatever. 